A con artist gets away with $75,000 in cold hard cash from an Oklahoma Walmart. A surveillance camera snapped this picture of the suspect as he just walked right out of the store. So how did he pull it off so easily? 48 Hours Crime Cider reporter Graham Cates is here with me to explain this because this is about as low tech of a heist, I think, as you can get. We're all uh, concerned about high tech and credit cards, and this, this is completely low tech. Tell us what happened. Absolutely. On July 4th, this man walked into this Walmart in uh, Oklahoma. Uh, he was carrying a gun, and he was wearing what looked like the uniform of the Loomis Armored Truck Company, mm -hmm. and he, uh, without... Uh, threatening any violence, actually managed to convince the Walmart employees that he was that employee, and they gave him a bag full of $75,000 in cash, and he walked out of the store uh, into a Chevy Malibu, so like a sedan, not an armored truck at all, uh, and, and drove away. And the Walmart employees actually didn't even realize they had been robbed for about half an hour until the actual armored truck showed up uh, trying to make its pickup. Wow, I think of the nerve of him, because you know these Walmarts have surveillance cameras all over the place. They've got a pretty good picture of him. I can't believe he would try to pull something like that off. It's so simple. I mean, he didn't even pull his gun out, did he? Right, yeah, exactly. So investigators say they have leads in this, yeah. uh, but they actually brought in the FBI and the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation. Really? Because when you think about it, it's actually really serious. It was uh, on July 4th, the man had a gun. Uh, and they had no idea who he was. Yeah. Uh, there was no IDing of him or anything along those so, lines. So listen, the fact that it was so simple, they, mu they must be concerned that this is pretty easy to duplicate. They must be concerned about copycats out there. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's why the federal authorities are involved in this. Mm -hmm. uh, and the detective uh, who's working the case from uh, Oklahoma, who I spoke with, told me that he spoke to Walmart corporate headquarters, and they had never had a robbery quite like this one before. Mm -hmm. But it, it worked so well, and it came off so easily mm -hmm. that there's, there's definitely has to be worried that this could happen again. Yeah, um, it's got to be a wake-up call for security at Walmart. I mean, did anybody even ask for an ID card? No, not at all. I mean, it was it was almost like there was there was no security. He walked in. He looked like he had it, but he didn't even have the company logo on his vest. Um, and investigators said they could tell from just the image of it that it actually wasn't a real bulletproof vest. It yeah. was a fake one. Uh, but he managed to, to just get the money immediately. Yeah, because he's sort of got a lot of things going on there on that vest. It almost looks like a fishing vest or something like that, you know? Right. But, I mean, if you just took a quick glance, it looks kind of real. But, yeah. it's, I mean, uh, police were able to tell right away it wasn't. Yeah, a little fake uniform and a lot of confidence goes a long way. Graham Cates, thank you very much. And remember, you can follow updates on this investigation and read up on other crime stories at cbsnews.com slash crimesider.